What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to episode 11 of my Pokemon Shield Let's Play. Um, so if you can tell in the background, well, first I'm wearing a beanie. Sorry, my hair looks like poop. Probably wearing a hat today. Probably in episode 11 and 12, you'll see the same hat because I am bulk recording. So this week I am doing, I'm recording two episodes a day. Um, you probably won't see this episode for a bit, so it is what it is. Uh, I just wanted to be honest. Um, also, the door in the back there, um, it's going to be open. I'm home. Um, it's just me, no one else, so I leave it open so that the dogs can come in and out. They can lay in my bed if they want to. Um, just uh, works out better for them because they like to come in and say hello. So if you see them, um, if you see a dog, make sure you just leave a like or comment doggo um, in the comments because probably going to miss if they come in. So in the last episode, we went through Galar Mine number two. Um, we saw Bede, we saw some Team Yell members, and we saw Kabu, the gym leader that we were taking on in today's episode, um, just running around. So, what's happening is, um, I want to do something special at the beginning of today's episode. Um, so, I, I did a little bit of training off screen. Um, so, I taught, uh, Wisteria here. Um, I taught him Dazzling Gleam. Because I'm not probably not going to catch a fairy type. Um, and I felt like teaching him Dazzling Gleam would kind of push the team uh, forward. That's the only member I taught any moves. I also gave um, Slash the, the Sylph Scarf. The Sylph Scarf. So that his uh, regular moves, his normal moves could be powered up. But what we're going to do is um we're gonna have an evolution at the beginning of today's episode before we go and fight so i found a water stone and that's what you use to um evolve shelly and i figure um what better time to evolve shelly than right before the fire type gym you know like there's no need for me to not evolve shelly especially especially because it's cloister Okay, and then this is this so so we have a fully evolved Pokemon. My 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 defenses um, will be through the roof. We are going to learn Icicle Spear because this is where our attack starts to get a little bit better than our special attack. So I'm gonna get rid of Aurora Beam um, just because I'm probably not gonna use it. At least very often. I'd rather have Icicle Spear. Even if it hits twice, it's still base 50. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Um, and we're going to have Shelly remember a move. We're going to have Shelly remember Razor Shell. Now I know it's only 95% accu uh, accurate. But I'm going to get rid of Water Gun. I'm gonna keep Rock Blast. I know I missed like every single one, but I don't have any other Rock type moves. Okay, so what we're gonna do today? I don't know why I'm so thirsty. I'm like extremely thirsty for some reason. Is this a TM shop? It is. Okay, what can I learn? What can I buy here? Nothing I need. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Let's go, because in today's episode. All I really want to do is fight Kabu, but I think we have to go. Yeah, so it's still nighttime, so we have to go back to the the hotel um, and sleep um, before before we can do anything crazy. Oh, hi, Marnie. I, mean, I really didn't know you were gonna see you here. Uh, Challenger Tanner, right? I'll give it your all, even this late, huh? Hey, help help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Um, okay. Wicked. Got some fight in you, huh? What are her eyes? Oh, wait, I didn't think about this. I don't think Shelly's a good, you know, Pokemon, especially against a Krogon. But, I want to see what Shelly... No, because if you hit me with a fighting type move, it's not going to be pretty. So why don't, let's switch out. Huh? 
I guess I'll switch out to Wisteria? I don't know. I don't have any super effective moves, is the issue. Um, and three of my Pokemon <laughs> get completely demolished by fighting types, which is an issue. What's not an issue is that there's no fighting type gym leader in this game. <laughs> So at least I made a decent decision. I know Wisteria is level 28. I guess I'll just use a Dazzling Gleam? I really, I really don't know how to take down Fighting Types. I need... I, I'm really gonna need, uh... I need to relook my... Re I need to take a look at my team. <laughs> and make some decisions. <laughs> Because, uh, I need to, I might have to get rid of, like, Lagatha or something. No, I can, I can keep using Wisteria with Dazzling Glim. Um, I need, I need to get rid of maybe, maybe Lagatha or, or, I don't know, I really want to keep... I haven't decided if I want to keep Slash or Lagatha on the team. Everyone else has a has a spot. Um, at least for now, I just like I need a ground type or someone that can use ground type moves effectively. Because I'm currently getting like mollywopped by by like Pokemon. Like I need something. Oh. I was not expecting Wisteria to get kind of like a bop like that. Or Pico's fast! Okay. Um. I'm not sure what this like spazzing out of my capture card is. I'm not sure if I have to update like the firmware or something. I can look at that. Uh, most of my episodes have that when I go into the menu, but only the menu. Okay, let's hit more Pico with a. I was. I... Are you serious, Lagatha? That only that only did 30. It's not. It's not. It's not. Just don't get a high roll, please. Thank you. Holy crap! Can you actually hit one? That did nothing. All right. I'm gonna have to sack Lagatha. I, I don't even. I'm so annoyed. Cause you're an electric type. All I need is a ground type move. All right, Kakashi. Um, I haven't used Kakashi in a bit. I don't want to use Kakashi every like three seconds. But I guess I have to. You're faster than Kakashi. ARE YOU FREAKING KIDDING ME?! A SECOND FLINCH IN THE SAME BATTLE! HOLY CRAP! How chunky is more Pico, bro? Do you still have Quick Attack? Please, please tell me you still have Quick Attack. And please tell me this isn't enough to take out more Pico. Thanks lord! Holy crap! Rip. Holy crap. Yay, good job, Benji. No. I want you to learn, like, Fire Fang and Ice Fang. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a decent Pokemon trainer. Maybe. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You'd better get some sleep, too. Something. I don't want to. I don't want to make that little noise. <laughs> um. Okay, so my Pokemon are healed. Did I sleep? I did. The next morning. Morning, Tanner. That friend of yours already went on to challenge the next gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. 
Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Thank you, Marnie. I thank you. I bless this. You touched it. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn heals. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you go over to Motorstoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Well, I've got like a little, a little, uh, a little fan. Well, my Pokemon are healed, right? Okay, so Shelly, Shelly's pretty under leveled if I'm being completely honest. Um, but uh, she is the Pokemon for me. She is the Pokemon for me. I don't really want to get rid of Shelly. If I have to, I'll get rid of Shelly for like a Barrasquita, which could be... Which could be cool, because I haven't used one, and it's really fast. Okay. <clears throat> Slow moving, aren't you, Tana? I've already gone to earn my Fire Batch. That Man of Fire Kabu is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Goes to shift on. Get a shift on, Tana. I bet you could beat that Man of Fire, too. Well, I was going to, but you... Where'd he go? Oh, he's already in here. Okay, whatever. I'm ready. I'm going straight. I'm going straight into it. We don't have too many challengers since our leader, Kabu, has made his gym mission so hard. But I'll, I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change your uniform first. You may find the fire gym, the gym's mission a bit different than others you faced. In you go. This is the one where you have to catch Pokemon. This is where I caught my fire type in my first playthrough because I found a Litwick. Um, and like I would totally use one of these fire types, but um, I already have uh, our starter, and I don't want to use anyone but Kakashi. The gym mission for the first fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or 2 points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in the battles. Think about what your opponents might do, and try to take the best action to rack up points. Can I just beat 5 of them? Shelly and Rolling Toy. I'm gonna miss so many razor shells, aren't I? Why do they all have steam engine Rolling Colies? <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Okay, can you, Shelly, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Shelly, please don't do this to me, it's a 95 accurate move. Thank you, holy crap, holy crap. My goodness gracious! That's a Litwick. This is a Sizzlepeed. I actually really dig Sizzlepeed. Um, it's like one of my favorite Pokemon from this generation. Okay, please. Hit. 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 You are such... Why would you do that? Oh! Please. Thank you. KO. Yep, yeah, This is so much better than using Water Gun on everybody. I want Lagatha to evolve. Because I think Lagatha will be better if I evolve it. I did not want to fight you yet, but we will anyway. Okay, sure. 
Sure. Dude, this is the Pokemon that I caught. But it takes like it lit what takes forever to evolve. Like not even in, not even an exaggeration. Litwick takes forever to evolve to Lampin. And of course, I'm burned. Okay, so I need to take a second. I need to reevaluate Shelly's situation. <laughs> um, so I have three points. I th well, first time I did this, I thought like there were only three Pokemon. You were gonna get basically screwed. Oh no, I need um just burn heal on Shelly. And I'll use one super potion on Shelly. So Shelly can get to level 26. So which one? I didn't mind doing the Vulpix one. The Vulpix, the Vulpix one was easy and so was the Sizzle P one. As long as I hit. Holy cool, he's not even a fire type yet. That's all I need to do. That's all I need to do is hit a razor shell. And we're good. Like, we're fine. Shelly's level 26. Shelly's gaining the good, good experience. So, if I beat Sizzlepeed, I should be able to move on. Correct? I know I'm gonna get faked out. It's not even a big deal. I'll, I'll take the damage. I did not want to use Rock Blast. You know what? You know what? I want to see something. I want to see one thing. Can I hit a rock blast and let this will be? I hit rock blast. It's the power of the cloister. It's the fact that we evolved her in the beginning of this episode. She likes she she really likes us now. That's the that's the whole thing. Now now she's like basically in love with us. And that should be it. We should be able to move on to the gym now, which is pretty cool, I guess. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Clearing Leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. I'm pretty sure I was really stupid about this. Um, I need to see if I have an elixir, because... Ether, 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 ether. Yes, razor shell. We're good. I don't even know. I'm gonna use a regular potion on Shelly just to get just to get um her the whole way up, whole way up. Come here, Kabu. Let's fight. Uh, let's fight. Uh. Oh, this is a nice little cutscene. It's kind of weird that we come out of the same one. I wonder why. Also found out he's originally from Hoenn, which is my favorite, my my favorite, my personal favorite generation. It's Gen 3. Um, but it's really cool that he's from Hoenn, because um, that means they didn't completely. <clears throat> Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you were here means you've bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Nessa's Waters-types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. That means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you, Kabu. I'm gonna beat you in like five minutes. I'm gonna give myself five minutes. You were challenged by Gym Leader Kabu. His eyes are cool. They're like backwards. You guys, you sending out that Drought Nine Tails? That's really how we're gonna start this battle with the Willow Wisp.
I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so annoyed. If I hit a rock blast, how much does it do? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I always forget that I don't resist. Whoa! Can we hit one more? Okay. Okay. Again. 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 Five. 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 Mmm. Mmm. And the vortex is probably gonna hurt me. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I avoided. Nine tails is gone. I might have to switch out and take a turn. Um, and heal up my little dude. I think that might be the best way to go about that. Um, send out someone who could do some damage because Shelly. Shelly is not, uh, is not in the best of shape. So why don't we switch out? Why don't we switch out into Kakashi? You know what? In the next episode, we'll, let's go around the wild area, um, and we will look for um, a teammate that could take the place. Um, that that could help us with some, some of our coverage issues. Let's use a burn heal on Shelly for this first turn. Kashi, Kashi, you can take a hit from Arcanine, right? Just one. Oh no, this is a base miss or just speed. Okay, I don't care. I really don't care about speed, honestly. Um, well, let's super potion Shelly back up to full health. Oh, yeah, Kakashi. You know what, let's... I'm curious. How much does a double kick do to the Sarkanine? I feel like it's not going to be a lot. Oh, that's like absolutely nothing. Wow. Okay, how much does a quick attack do? About as much as I don't want to let Kashi die because I want I want this experience. So let's I'm trying to think who could take out. Cause I don't want to just I don't want to switch Shelly into a bite. Actually, you know what? I could switch Shelly into a bite. I think I think he's I'm gonna pro play. I think he's gonna go for a bite. I guess what Shelly into a bite. This shouldn't do too much. I got I'm pretty Shelly's got pretty fat defenses. And then if I raise her shell. Oh come on! What are these tactics, bro? What is, doesn't that half my attack? Oh my Lanta! My defenses are still too too fat. There we go. Uh, so the question of the day is: Is the is Sizzle Pete next or? Is okay. So here's the issue. Shelly is burned. Well, I think I just have to keep her. I'm just gonna keep her in, I guess. There's no point. Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There's still something, something that I didn't read fast enough because I'm really bad at this. <laughs> so I am burned and I am a level below. But I want to set the rain with Max Geyser. I'm kind of hoping it, may, it might switch it to a, a special move as well. And if it does that, that would change the game. I am faster. And I love Shelly, but... I don't know if Shelly's meant to be on the team this whole game. Burn bright, Sinistorch. Let... 
let Gigantamax change the something something because I'm still not looking at the screen when I need to be. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I, I, I really wanted Cloyster to be on the team like for the whole game. But unless I grind and find a liquidation TR or trade myself one, I don't think I'm going to be using her the whole game. I would rather get a Barrasputa just so I can have something that attacks a bit faster. Um, after this game, um, after this episode, I'll probably take a little bit of a break for for the next one. Um, and look up. That is a cool animation. And I, I like heavily resist that. Probably because it's in the, also in the rain. Um, I want to, I just want to see like, would a Barrascuta work better on my team? Like what coverage can Barrascuta learn? You know, all that, all that stuff. Um, and if it, if Barrascuta does seem like a better, oh, Shelly's probably gone. I mean, Shelly's not going to get any of this XP. Oh, the Vortex, no! so upsetting okay all right slash come on in you can finish it wait you're a bug type don't you resist arc you resist arc i'll just swift you i hate that shelly died there i'm i don't know i don't know i think i think maybe getting some different team members might be good for this team this team is, is is not is not looking very good right now. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but I think in the next episode, changing some stuff around would would, would be good for for us. Huh. <clears throat> great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Got about nine thousand dollars for winning. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talent surpasses my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. It was a little jog with his towel. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Yeah, I think, uh... Kabu, you, Kabu just, like, basically put down everything I just said about wanting to do. I don't want to get rid of Slash yet you can now catch pokemon up to level 35 thanks thanks to the dynamax phenomenon our pokemon battles have become a part of the galar region's culture and it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive of course i hope that instead of just keeping it alive you also help it become something better we adults will be the pillars for you to build on the thing that i uh, i want to do oh my god i just want to talk tenor I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Cloyster would be the ones, but still, that match had me right on the edge of my seat. Challenger Tanner, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Will-O-Wisp, great, a move I'm definitely not going to use. I got burned so many. And take one of our uniforms, the same design as Kabu himself wears. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding this city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the gym badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep into the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So I'm gonna go. I'll go outside. I don't think I don't think anything triggers when I go outside yet. Oh, never mind. Wait, that triggered the whole event? Oh, I didn't want to do this yet. That's fine. I guess we'll, we'll do it now. Hurry up, Tana. Huh? You're the gym leader. 
You, oh, oops. <laughs> You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. We made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Tanner, hot, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get the gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Tanner. <laughs> I didn't read that the first time! <laughs> the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks to you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Tanner. Let's head for Hammerlock. I mean, that's cool. I like how interwoven the gyms and stuff are in this region. It's really, it's really cool to like just to quote unquote experience. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Tanner, Hemlock is up that way. Got it? I think I might actually know some Pokemon that I want to switch for. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So, I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll bother you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Tanner to battle on Gallimine too, and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Tanner and the champion and whatnot. Do what you do you have do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this bully my real skills in battle. See you so see you later, Tana. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Woo! Alright. So I kinda wanted to do all that in the last episode. Um I actually really wanted to do all that in the last episode, but it's okay. It is what it is. Today's episode just uh, went a little bit longer than usual. So thank you guys so much for checking out this episode today. About to watch us beat and get our third gym battle, our gym badge, which is, which is awesome. Um, in the next episode, we are going to uh, walk around and and maybe check out some more stuff in uh, in this little area. I might have a few Pokemon that I might be trying to change on the team. I have a couple ideas, some Pokemon that I definitely. Definitely tried to use in the last playthrough and didn't get to use. Um, so I might do a little bit of changing. Um, I might let some people sit in the box for a bit and then do some training later with them on the team if I need them back. Um, might have some interchanging team members. Um, but I guess we shall see uh, from here. So thank you guys again for checking this out. It's it's great um, to see people coming and watching the, 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 the videos. Um, even if it's only a couple people. Um, so I will... Catch you guys later. Bye.